changing the rear brakes on a 2002 Chrysler PT Cruiser Touring, so the rear brakes are caliper brakes, there's no drum Just to give you an idea of how we set this up That's where you want to put your jack And you always want to have jack stand ready um, And you could even put the tire underneath the car Just for emergency So the first thing we're going to do is Take the tire off It's three quarters of an inch for each lug We got all the lugs off already so that's a lug. Put them somewhere you can find them easily. And take the tire off. Okay, tire's off. So now here's the brake caliper. And what we're gonna have to do first is put a clamp, a C clamp, in here and clamp down so that the piston in here, that piston right there, is. Uh, compressed then you can take it off then after you compress it we're gonna unscrew both of these so that we could get the caliper off so that's the basic procedure and uh, unfortunately I do not have a C clamp that is big enough so I'm sort of adjusting what I'm doing making my own way so here's my C clamp it doesn't fit all the way so what I'm doing is putting a C clamp here and another clamp the brake clamp there, right here. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing just in case you don't have a big enough C-clamp. First thing you're going to want to do, make sure it spins freely and brush all the rust off. Get a um, wire, metal wire brush, brush all the rust off. Just so it's nice and smooth, you know, better surface area for for cooling and make sure that the rim seats properly on the rotor. You can get brake cleaner, clean it with brake cleaner and then do this. Let the brake cleaner sit for a couple of minutes and start scraping it off. And then what we're doing here is just at the top right here, making sure you get all the brake dust and dirt off. So when we change it, we could uh, easily change it and not get anything contaminated. Brush the clips. That's the clips for the brake pad. Mopar does a nice job setting it up. Okay. Now that we got all the rust off, we're going to clip or compress I should say the brake pad and like I said I'm kind of doing it the wrong way because I don't have a big enough C-clamp and since my car is already taken apart I'm not going to have to get one so this is what I'm doing taking two clamps and kind of making, making them work putting them together and all you need to do is compress the piston and you'll see Let me bring this over here so you guys can see it getting compressed okay so I'm gonna just tighten this Start compressing this. Fortunately, like I said, I do not have a good setup here. But you make do with what you got. Now I'm having some trouble. Okay, let's try this again. So 
So we're compressing the piston, the brake caliper piston. There we go. And you can see that the caliper is closing down. Okay, good. And then now we're going to take a ratchet. And the ratchet is a 3.30 seconds. Or 13.30 seconds, I'm sorry. 13.30 seconds ratchet with an extension so that you have enough leverage and you want to make sure you're loosening it. And we're going to take the top one off first. Let me put that aside. Take that off next. Same size bolts so you can interchange them. That's not a big deal. So I think we're gonna have to compress this again, unfortunately, because it's not coming off. It's weird because it, it won't even slide off, it like locks in. So we're gonna have to try compressing this one more time. Pain, but what are you gonna do? Okay, push that in. Like I said, he had the right tools, this would be so much easier. So this is what it looks like. You have your piston right here, and then you have your brake pads on one on the piston, one on the caliper. And uh, so we're gonna hang on to this. You could, if you only have one person, you could string a metal wire through here, connect it to the sway bar or something. So it hangs there. You don't want any pressure on this fuel line right here. You don't want any pressure on that. Okay, so then the next step is on, on the rotor section. Just take your wire brush, brush off all the rust. Okay. And then we're gonna go back here and we're gonna unclip the clips. Get a screwdriver. Just pop these clips off. It's actually easier since we're not reusing these. Just bend the clips up like that. Get it from the other side. It's a nice big screwdriver so you can get your leverage. Bend your clips up. And these come right out. And these are the old brake pads you can see. There's still some life on them. These are the rear brakes. So I'll compare new and used. 
you'd see obviously the new ones have a lot more but the rear brakes are only used about 20 to 30 percent of the total brake capacity so most of the brakes are the front and um, so you don't really have to worry too much when you have lower rear brakes and then this just pops out of the piston the pistons like round and this gets pushed in so you just pull it out okay and again still similar wear even wear this side and this side are about the same so and there's it's nice and smooth here I'm not going to change the um, the rotors no need for me to change the rotors they're still in good shape and the car only has 60,000 miles honestly it doesn't even really need rear brakes but we're just doing it make sure the brakes are good okay now I'm going to direct over here so what we're going to do now is oil the brakes or grease the brakes okay so we want to grease here I already put some here we want to grease here here behind the clip behind the clip and where it sits on here and here so let's get some grease okay just move it around get it on the whole brake pad on the back end of the brake pad you do not want this on your brakes because then you won't have brakes and a little bit on these clips to help it slide in because you are pushing on the piston when you push these in okay there there so it's greased here 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 and here so then we're gonna put some more on this okay here under the, the clip on the side same thing under the clip okay so here under the clip on the side and then you have both your brake pads greased now this is you can see the two different styles of the clips this one goes into the caliper I mean into the piston this one goes on the caliper this one we'll do first into the piston You want your brake pads, they're going to sit like this, okay? To give you an idea what it looks like. It's going to sit on here, on here and on here, so down like that. So you're going to put them in exactly the same. So take this, well, actually I should say, um, first thing you want to do before you do this is compress the piston I almost forgot to do that so you get your your piston compressor tool or a c-clamp if you don't have this this is only like five bucks so I mean it's a good investment they're gonna charge you a fortune to do brakes as it is you put this in like that and you start tightening and then you can see the piston compressing and you want the piston to compress all the way in so that it's easy to get the brake pads on because the new brake pads are really thick. You want to make sure your master cylinder is the top is open to allow the brake pressure to uh, to be relieved. And you just push this all the way. Still compressing. Almost there. Beautiful. And don't force it anymore. Once it gets snug, leave it. That's compressed all the way. Okay? Now you take your brake pad that is pre-oiled. And you are going to push it in to the... Huh? 
Okay. Now, if you can't get it in, be very, very careful. Because you don't want to damage the brake pad. And use the same tool again to help push this in. Be very careful. This is just going to aid in getting this in smoothly so you don't damage everything. Be very careful. Don't want to damage your brake pads, so just do it very slowly. And this goes in. Okay. And that is how you get that side of the brake pad. The other side is a little easier. You're going to do the same thing. This clip goes towards the bottom, and you can see right here this clip is going to go here, and this clip's going to go there. Okay, before you do that, you want to grease the inside of the, uh, the caliper. I'll show you guys that. So you get your grease, and you put it on the back side of this. Okay, and just move it around. Same thing with this side, and this is so the caliper doesn't stick. I mean, the brake pad doesn't stick to the caliper. Okay, grease the back side, grease the back side. And you can put a little grease on the clip, a little grease on the clip. Okay, that's that. And then you can take your brake pad. Again, this part of the clip on the bottom. And you're gonna just pull it over. fingers when you do this snaps in snaps in boom done so now these are snapped in tight everything's lubed everything's ready to get put back on make sure all your connections are good all your uh, surfaces are good you want to make sure they're all rust free cleaned so now we're gonna go and put the caliper back on so to do this very simply the bottom part first, here, has to fit in, so that's where you push it in first. Here, why don't we move the camera over a little, so I can get in here. Okay, so we want to get this part. And you have to pull on these where the uh, bolts were to take this caliper off. You have to pull on them to get it to fit in. There we go. And then we want to pull this one here. And get this top one in. Kind of snug. Shimmy it around. doesn't go in the first time, pull it back out, set it up again. This will take some shimmying. There we go. In, in. Now we take our bolts and thread them in. And just start them. There we go. Okay, then we take our ratchet. 13, 30 seconds.
tighten everything down. And that's it. You are done. So that's how you change the, uh, the rear brake pads on a, uh, a caliper rear brake pad, not a drum, on a 2002 Chrysler PT Cruiser. I'm sure it's similar for all the PT Cruisers and also many other cars as well, not just uh, PT Cruisers, but any cars with the rear brake pads. You might not have to do the, uh, the pist uh, collapse the piston in the beginning. A lot of cars, they just, when you unscrew the caliper, it pops out, and uh, otherwise everything's similar. And uh, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And get this back on. When you tighten these, snug them first, both snug. See how they're both snug? And then don't get them really tight, but give them, give them enough so that they're not going to come off. You don't want these to be super tight. Okay? Make sure this spins. Rotor spins no problem. Clearancing everywhere is good. And you're all done. Thanks for watching the video.